Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on WebLogic administration. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to create custom T3 channel. Before we going to see how to create custom T3 channel, let's start our WebLogic server. So this is, these are the sequence I normally follow. I just go to this uh, command prop uh, on Windows system and just give this command and immediately as soon as I give this command the server gets started now as this is a simple server it will start very soon in real time normally it takes little longer time because it has to deploy all the applications on on relevant managed server so you can see uh, the server state is changed to running so the server is running so we can go to the browser and I will try to access this console so here it will ask us uh, to provide username and password so we will providing the username and password for the administration so once we log in to the web logic you can see uh, we have configured the servers and their other properties but particularly for the today's session we are going to see how to configure t3 t3 is a protocol normally when we when, it, when any application communicate with each other they communicate through protocol so we have http protocol https protocol iop protocol and t3 protocol these are the examples if we have the web application where security is not required then http protocol is enough to configure if you have the secure application then you need to have the https protocol whenever you configure the https protocol you need to have the certificate to be installed on the weblogic server side iop protocol normally used for the applications such as enterprise java bin to communicate sometimes applications also communicate through the t3 protocol by default t3 protocol work on the same port as http protocol so the t3 protocol by default is not secure so it works on the same protocol now suppose assume in your enterprise you need to disable HTTP protocol so in that case the T3 protocol will not work because the T3 protocol work on the same port as like HTTP protocol so how can we change the means T3 protocol works on the same port as like HTTP port so how can we override this situation so you want to disable HTTP port but you still want to use the T3 port so in that case the solution is to create custom t3 protocol so i will show you where the protocols are available and the ports are available so in order to do that you have to go to the server for example i have configured admin server currently it is running on the port 7001 so you can see that in the configuration section you have to click that server and you will see the listener port is 7001 if you are enable if you have the certificates then you can enable the SSL listener port that will be used for the HTTPS protocol so this is the port for the secure that is 7002 currently my application is very simple application so I have enabled this HTTP protocol but of course we have the um, we have control to do that in upcoming session we will see how to enable the HTTPS protocol that is secure protocol how to configure the certificate etc but in today's session we are targeting how to create t3 protocol so first thing we need to know what is the listener address if you do not configure any listener address it is considered as a local host or your local system the port is the this is the HTTP port 7001 which is normally used by the t3 protocol now will go ahead and create a one t3 protocol in order to create any protocol you have to go to the protocol section you will see the various properties such as general properties complete message timeout ideal connection timeout 
enable tunneling, tunneling client ping, tunneling client timeout, maximum message size. So you can optimize these values. Those are controllable. We have the HTTP protocol. We have JCOM protocol. We have IOP, and the next is we have the channels. So here we can create our custom channel. So let's start creating such channels. In order to create a channel, we have the network channels. The network channel allows us to manage quality of service, meet varying connection requirements, and improve utilization of system and network resources. This network channel page displays key information about any channel you are going to create. So we can create new channel. If you have existing channel, we can clone it, we can delete it. These are the functionality available. So let's create our first T3 channel. In order to create channel, just click on this new button. It will take us to the new page. Here we have to provide two properties, name of the channel and the what kind of protocol. So I will, I'm giving T3 channel. You can give any name, there is no restriction. From drop down, you can select what other type of protocol you can use. We have the admin, IOPS, SNMP, LDAPS, that is LDAP secure, cluster broadcast secure, IOP, T3S, LDAP, color, cluster broadcast, HTTP, HTTPS, and T3. T3S is for secure T3, and normal T3 is just T3. Just select that, click on the next. Then you have to provide the listener address. As my server is running locally, I am giving the listener ad uh, address as a localhost. We have to choose a different port other than this already existing because the application is admin application is already running on this port. So make sure you use the different port. I am using three. If you have any external listener address, you can provide it. If you have any list external port, then you can provide that. Right now I am just putting blank. Click on the next. And it will take us to the next screen where we have to choose the additional properties such as uh, whether you want to enable this channel or if you want to disable you have to check that tunneling enable if you are tunneling enable you have to enable that of course we'll learn in detail about tunneling but for now just keep in mind these are the some properties we can disable this http enable for this protocol so if you want outbound enabling so if you want to enable that you can just configure that click on the next button it will take us to the next screen if it is https then you have to configure these properties because https or t3s require the certificate so there will be two way ssl enable client certificate enforce those property need to be configured as per the business case click on the finish and it will create one t3 channel if there is any issue you will not able to create so this is very simple and straightforward case let me show you one more case where let me give that error case t3 channel 2 ok click next this time i will keep the port same i will keep the local host but the, i will keep the port same and what will happen we will see click on the next disable or enable click on next and finish it so you can see whenever you use any existing port you will get this message an error occur during activation of changes and the actual error is here port conflict was detected in server admin server configuration the server admin server is configured to listen on two ports that have same port number and IP address channel channel 2 and this is the address conflict with the address 7001 that is default channel so make sure you are, you are using appropriate port however even if you are creating this uh, you will still able to see that temporary change this is not committed yet so you will not able to use that t3 channel 2 because it is not saved but still it is getting displayed one thing you can do you can just select this and delete it and that channel get deleted if you want to clone this channel just click on the select that channel and create clone give the na channel name and click ok so all the properties will remain same except the channel will be uh, created now it is saying again the same thing the reason is the port will be the same for this channel that is the reason it is creating problem so how to get rid of this just delete it 
how to create another clone just click on clone click ok when you recreate that just open that again and let's let's try to modify it let me do one thing it is already configured let me disable it first disable that you have to disable the port uh, property and then update the port and then save it so that now the port will be used if you go back in the channels so again you have to go to the manage server protocols and you can see the both are working fine without any issue so by this way you can create a different custom channels i hope this tutorial going to help you to understand how to create custom channels in weblogic console thank you for watching my video if you have any questions or queries about weblogic you can mention in the comment section of this video have a nice time and have a great day bye bye